Hey everybody, our fitness component today is balance. All right, that is your body's ability to maintain control. Sometimes we balance ourselves by staying still and sometimes we balance ourselves by moving. So let me show you a couple of exercises that we're gonna be doing on Friday as part of our interval training and those are some side kicks. You're gonna balance your body. Go ahead and do this with me. On your right leg, hold your arms out and always find a focus point. Stare at something straight ahead. All right, let's just start out, arms out <clears throat> on your right leg and see if you can bring your left knee in. Okay, this is just kind of step one. Bring your knee in and hold it. Hold it for about three seconds and then bring your body down. It really, really helps to stare at something straight ahead, a focus point and breathe. All right, if you've got that, now we're gonna try to lean over towards our right, pop our leg out and bring it back in. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. One more time. Up, out, down. Now, I know many of you take martial arts and you probably can do this a lot better than I do. So you have a lot of practice. All right, let's try the other side. Start out with your balance first. Take it one step at a time. Standing on your left leg, bringing your right leg in. Three seconds, keeping your focus point. Good, giving you a good practice. All right, now let's pop that leg out and bring it in. Up, out, and in. Up, out, and in. Now this is also a strengthening exercise because you're using all your power to kick your leg out in front of you. You can also do forward kicks. I'm gonna do it from a side angle here. I'm on my right leg, ready? Up and out, pop and out. All right, you could do a little bit more intensity by kicking faster and higher. Two more, and then we'll switch to the other side. All right, up, pop and out. If you move your arms, it will also increase your intensity. If you're not falling over, you're maintaining your balance. All right, here's another one that we'll probably do on Friday. These are our ski jumps. These, you're going to slide and hop over to your right and tap behind you. This is getting our heart rate up. This is also cardiovascular exercise because we're using our big muscles, those light muscles. Okay, now you can make this a little bit more of a strength exercise by pushing up high, getting high up in your vertical jump. But when you do this with control without falling over, it's a great way to practice your balance. Another way that we can practice our balance is by doing what's called static poses, getting into a position and not moving, keeping our feet still. Here's a great example of a fun balance challenge. All right, Taryn, he may want to join me, I'm not sure. I want you to hold your arms out to the side to look like a T. See if you can keep your arms out to the side just like this. Try not to drop them. Try to have really good form with excellent posture. Back is straight. All your weight is on your right foot. Stretch your left foot out behind you and point your toe. And you can rest that left toe on the ground. Stare straight ahead at a focus point. Move in nice and slow. Bend at the hips, keeping your back nice and flat. Arms still out like a T. And hold this position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. See if you can hold it for 10 seconds. Try to do it on the other side. If you're successful, let's move on to a little bit more of a challenge. Same position on your right leg. Arms out, back straight. Nice deep breath, staring at a focus point. Hold that position you were just in. And now slowly try to bring your body down to touch the floor and hold it. 
Now your focus points change to steering the floor, arms are straight, legs are as straight as you can get them, point those toes. And now the recovery, coming out of the balance of control, slowly raise your body up, 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 up. and back to your position. Wow, this was not only an excellent practice for our balance, but my, my base leg started burning. It is a great strengthening exercise for my muscles too. I hope you've been noticing that some of the exercises that we do, they are a combination of our fitness components, just like this one. It helped us to strengthen our legs, it also helped us with our flexibility where we were reaching and bending, and it also helped with our balance. Those are the best type of exercises to do where you get so many fitness components mixed in together. All right, everybody. Well, we're outside right now. We're going to demonstrate an agility course for you. Um, it's just a, an activity that's going to help develop your balance and agility, your body's ability to move quickly while still maintaining balance. And here it is. I just do circles on the ground because I don't have all these hula hoops at the house. My um, awesome daughter, Gracie, is going to demonstrate. Every time you start out something uh, for the first time, you always want to go slow. So she's going to put one foot in each hoop. Going nice and slow, soft on the feet. Next time, she's going to go a little faster. And a little faster. Gradually getting faster and faster and faster. One more time, Gracie. Nice, okay. All right, so this is probably going to be part of our uh, interval circuit training on Friday. So if you have chalk, go ahead and practice that so you're ready to go on Friday. We're going to include this in our workout. All right, enjoy it. Have a great day.